the second fin uh, second to last race is here. And we're at the end of practice now. And just gonna wish for it and gonna go straight to qualifying. And uh, yes, it's on the street. for my session. Alright, so make some fun. Okay. And this is really the game. I do want to apologize for the lateness of these. I have recently moved house on Friday, so yeah, that's why we use out so late. But here we are. I think there won't be another set for a while. Look at that. But here we are, at the end of our first time, that we go to a position for the main speech phase. We head down. And whatever this is, going to <coughs> the finale corner, the final corner, I mean, and we get P3. Good, we get to wet, <coughs> <coughs> obviously. So we decide to go back to garage. And we're gonna start P3 in the race tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, we mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Still first, but by seven points, to take in our place is five now. So here are the commentators. And it's Dorian Boccalacci in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Alesi, Matsushita, the engineer, and Sete Camera, King, Mazepin, Giotto, Juan Manuel Correa, De Vries, Galeo, Nicholas Latifi, and Eilat, Raghunathan, Schumacher, Aitken, and Louis Delatraz. Joe and Tatiana Calderon completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Did I forget to tell you all that it's going to be raining for the race? <laughs> I think I did. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm going to tell you. Don't like the rain. Just go back to Belgium, round 10, only two rounds ago, to find out that I don't like the rain. Go back to Britain and any other race that has rain. But here we are, five lights, and it's lights out the way we go. But the way I don't go, make sure it gets better start than this. So does. Set a camera, Jordan King, Nikki Mazepin, actually not King, we still head of, head of him. But he's going to our inside now. We're gonna to go to the inside of set a camera as well. We tap Matty Shooter and uh, lost the rear end and set a camera gets back fast. If we make contact with set a camera, okay. Going through turn four now to make a dive bomb on set of camera we've got to make sure that we stay up here otherwise we will go down 
because I am not the best in the wet. That needs improving for the F1 season that we go in. I mean, it'll be a little bit rusty at the start anyway. But here we are at the end of that one. Giotto got past King from getting on that big straight as we go through turn 7, 18. We lose the rear end massively as Giotto is on alongside us now. And sails past us at turn 1, and it's not really a turn, it's just a kink. Thank you, Joe. We're breaking into turn 2 now. Go a little bit wide. Turn 3, I believe that would be. We lose the rear end. I feel like this should be turn 4, but hey, it's actually turn 3. Yeah. In my head, it should be turn 3, actually. Ah, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Lockdown hasn't been good for me. As we head later on that lap, Giotto is still behind us. And we lose the map here in massively. We keep. Do I even need to tell you what happened? <laughs> Door slam perfect with what happened. That weren't me. Um, but this was me. Because of that, we go into Goto, go into King, and Correa, and other people. Uh, doors keep slamming. But we're only six minutes in, and it's an 18 long, so. Uh, 12 of us is going to be spent on the second race, but of course, got to go through the podium celebration first. And an incredible win for Campos, brilliant performance. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts, how did they accomplish this result? Their biggest advantage was how well they seemed to manage their time. There wasn't a lot of grip out there anyway. But it was even worse for the drivers if they couldn't keep the tires in the proper operating room. Keeping the tires warm was what gave them the advantage today, and ultimately was a big factor in their win. It's time to present the top drivers with their trophies for today's race, and there are a lot of people in the paddock very happy with this result. It's Campos on the top step. Well done to Campos winning the race. Giuliano in second. And well done to our teammate, Mary Shia in third. So, um, can't really complain. <laughs> I took out um, King with me. Uh, I didn't mean to. Just not the best in the wet. I mean, usually I would have flashbacked that, but I'm trying not to do that anymore. So expect a lot of crashes from me. Uh. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's tape. The lead at the top has come down after a poor oh God. for our points lead. And so, driver of the oh day there, Devin no. Who do you think you'd go for? I go for Wang Zhu. The <sighs> really good pussy driver today just surprised me. He was so aggressive. He deserved the victory. And here's Hopefully he only gets four points ahead. Well, maybe you could get the six points ahead. There was also a oh, no. From the hopefully, today, hopefully four. Oh, After all here are the commentators. The sprint race now. Race. Let's go. We hope to see you there. And here we are, back after yesterday's exciting feature race for today's sprint. Exciting race, yeah, sure. Reversed, but the grid down below, and we're almost ready to start. As we await the start of another hugely anticipated Formula 2 race, I'm joined again by Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as a former GP2 champion, can we get some insight to what is running through these young drivers' heads as they sit out on the grid? Ciao, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. They are nervy moments. There is no doubts about that. 
Mental strength is the key to remaining calm and focusing on the upcoming race. Formula 2 is so competitive and all of the drivers know that they are going to be pushing each other all of the way. In these sports, you have to be able to control your nerves. And here we are on the grid. Benjamin Daly is our cameraman there. Getting ready to go, put the temperature panel up. Lights out and away we go, 29 degrees of the brakes. And we've got a bad start. But we're gonna pick it <coughs> we're gonna make it up into turn two. Should be turn one. But anyway, here we are. Behind the radio now. Close up. Oh wait, we're gonna yeet it out the inside. Uh don't quite work, we get Kareem. Almost get Schumacher, but because we are flat out for the long turn three, unlike them, we dive bomb not only Galeo but Latifi, but it doesn't work on Latifi. What's he doing down here to get some stuff from? I don't know. I feel like he's been nerfed in this game or something. Or is that because of it? I feel like that could be because of his F1 AI. Got to make him slower in F1, and we've got to make him slower in F2. But that doesn't make sense. But I mean, it, they are the same AI. AI. We lose the rear end twice in the same places. The old saying goes, "You're no longer a racing driver if you don't go for a gap." Galea went for a gap. My fault. Yeah, but we're back behind Galeo um, at the end, let's start of lap 2. And um, we're going through the long turn 3, our engine's overcooking. More speed once again, because we just stay flat out. Almost go to a dive on the Schumacher, but we fell out of it, because we know that won't work. But I'm um, going to catch up to Schumacher at the end of that lap. <coughs> Going to be pushing him through 14, going through 15 now, and then that we see, yeah, that was pushing him through 14, so we get past him. Next up on our list is one man where uh, one man Perea, and then we're behind him now. Lap four, it took us to get back to him, and um, going through turn three once again, not pass them as early as I would like, but actually that's much better to pass him. Next up with TV, can we get him before the end of the race? That'd be quite nice. And uh, looks like we are. Jordan King right there, but he's not our rival because of Matty Sheaton now. Level on points for this, and he's going to get more points if we don't do anything about it. Behind the TV now. He's going to make the dive bomb. Don't even care. Okay, and uh, P16, we won't get any points, that is certain, but we will possibly get past King, we're going to give him the same treatment he gave us in Spa, I didn't show you that, okay, um, why didn't I, oh, we're getting past Dialog now, <coughs> And we're in the section of the Benefin. Can we get past Dialog? We get past Dialog. We're gonna die from the Benefin. It's like, thank you for helping us. Um, now I'm gonna take you. Uh, okay. He was helping us, so he didn't expect us to make the move on him as well. Cut that corner. <laughs> Cut 16. Barriers too close, but too far away. Brand new Joe wins the race. We only get a P13, but we're going to come across the line and <laughs> lose the rear end once again. Don't be surprised if we get the driver of the day. Hey, there we do. Yes, we do. We don't. Not there we do. Right, here's the podium celebrations. So Uni Virtuosi have won it, and what a great race it was. 
So, Davide, how exactly did they set themselves apart from the pack today? It was down to one thing, consistent pace over everyone else out there on the track. We could spend a great deal of time talking about ways and tire strategy, what else occurred on the track, but at the end of the day, the difference here was down to simply being faster on track than everyone else. Amazing skill on show. I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of the race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see how far Matrishio got ahead of us. Oh, well done to the University Trophy. 1-2. Not many F2 teams can do that. So it's quite cool when you do see it. 500 points. Hoping to be at 12 level, X, level 12 XP. I'll do that off screen. And now let's take a look at the screen. And let's make sure it gets six points. Because of the first lap. So it does go down to Abby Dabby. And the music is playing now, so I'm going to head off now. And uh, uh, what do I say? Cheers, uh, friends. There's friends of common interest, like, subscribe, like, let's subscribe, just like, comment, why, doesn't that? And until Abby Dabby, I've been racing in here, and ta-ta!